after declaring all three impeachment complaints against President Aquino sufficient in form, members of the House Justice Committee now look into the substance of the complaints. Katrina Domingo reports from the House of Representatives for the latest. Hi, Kat. By the House Committee on Justice has just terminated the discussion on impeachment complaints number one and two complaints that are in connection with the disbursement acceleration program and has just started the discussion on impeachment complaint number three. Now, before we go into the details of what were discussed on impeachment complaints number one and two, the committee hearing was temporarily suspended due to a spat between Bayan Muna Representative Neri Colmenares and Eastern Sama Representative Ben Evardone. The dispute between the two lawmakers started when Evardone poked on the, on the endorsers of the impeachment complaint. He says the lawmakers who endorsed the impeachment complaints against President Aquino have no right to complain against the DAP because they themselves receive funding for their projects from the Disbursement Acceleration Program. As we can remember, uh, Bayan Muna parted as Representative Neri Colmenares and Alliance of Concerned Teachers parted as Representative Antonia Dini admitted that they received money or they received budget to fund their uh, milk feeding programs in elementary schools. However, the Makabayan Block Solons clarified that as soon as the Supreme Court declared the disbursement acceleration program as unconstitutional, they immediately halted these programs that were funded by DAP and that they already, and that they were, as soon as they were enlightened, that these are illegal acts. Now, Congressman Eric Colmenares was, from, was somehow uh, was somehow irritated with this comment of, ben Eva, of Congressman Evandone, and he immediately retorted back to the Eastern Summer representative that says that they should not be that the um, that followers who receive funding from the DAP should not be blocked or should not be stopped from questioning the DAP right now because this proves that they re that, that as soon as they realized that the DAP was illegal, they had the initiative to correct what was wrong with the system. He asks Ben Evardone in his words, "Ikaw ba sinabihan ka ba namin na balimbing ka nung dati alay ka ni GMA at ngayon bigla kang lumilipat kay President Aquino? Now, this started as uh, uh, not now, this started um, a lot of, uh, um, I'm, I'm not sure if we can call it as uh, as an outburst from the committee and the people who are sitting here as the audience of the committee. And this prompted uh, House Committee on Justice Chairman Niel Dupas Jr. to temporarily suspend the hearing to personally talk to Evardone and to Colmenares. Now, after the hearing was um, uh, after after he lifted the suspension of the hearing, Tupas immediately uh, ordered to strike out from the record the spat between uh, between Evandone and Colmenares, as he says the labeling of uh, Congressman Evandone as malimbing and the uh, and the uh, and the other allegations involved in that spat was unparliamentary and irrelevant comments that are unnecessary that are unnecessary and unconnected to the impeachment discussions. Now, aside from that spat a while ago, a lot of allies of President Aquino have defended the president and the disbursement acceleration program, among which, uh, among these are Majority Leader Boyan Gonzalez. He says that the basis of the first two impeachment complaints against the president is the Supreme Court decision on the DAP's unconstitutionality. He says, even if the Supreme Court already declared the DAP as unconstitutional, it cannot be used as a basis to impeach the president because the operative term here is that it should be a culpable violation of the Constitution. The lawmaker says, you say something is, cul is culpable if it was done on purpose and in, in bad faith. Gonzalez insists that the DAP was not enforced uh, through, was not an intentional violation of the Constitution, but was enforced in good faith to accelerate government spending. Uh, meantime, another Liberal Party stalwart, Congressman Ray Omari, says the Supreme Court has declared 58 acts as unconstitutional since the time and since the administration of President Cory Aquino. But he says this is the first time the Supreme Court that a Supreme Court decision was used as a basis of an impeachment complaint. Omari asks his colleagues to heed the wisdom of previous Congresses not to hold impeachment hearings for every violation of the Constitution. He says all impeachment complaints should be reviewed 
should and should be uh, should be reviewed properly. He says that there are a lot of other national issues to be discussed other than the impeachment of President. And, you know, meantime, Deputy Speaker George D. Agabao says that if uh, if law if the Congress would impeach the President, they are undermining the vote of the 15 million people who supported President Akima during the 2010 elections. However, Elias of Concerned Teachers part of this representative Antonia Pino underscores that popularity should not be the basis of the impeachment uh, in impeachment uh, in impeaching a president. He cites former president Joseph Arab Estrada. He says Arab is much more popular than President Aquino, but still he was impeached, not even if he is popular, but because he committed acts of grave abuse of discretion of his power as president. We had Liberal, par Liberal Party stalwart and Marikino representative Miro Kimbo says that uh, aside from the seven Makamayan block lawmakers who endorsed the impeachment complaints against the president, no member from the minority bloc and no member from the independent minority bloc and most definitely no member from the majority bloc and the House of Representatives are supporting the three impeachment complaints against the president. Kimbo says this is enough proof that the impeachment complaints against the president will not be passed and that it is empty. So right now my uh, discussions and debates on the third impeachment complaint in connection with the enhanced defense operation agreement are ongoing. Alliance of Concerned Teachers part of this representative Antonio Dino is explaining or is defending that why the complaint should be declared as sufficient in substance. Now, after this discussion, my, if the discussions would end today, if the debates would end today, the committee is expected to vote on the sufficiency of the three complaints. Now, if, if, if they vote, if, they, if the committee decides that the three complaints or either one of the three impeachment complaints are sufficient in substance, the president will be asked to either to appear here at the committee hearings or to write a letter in response to the allegations Kat, can you tell us more about the House Deputy Speaker's call to dismiss the complaints insisting that the President did not commit culpable violation of the Constitution? He also insisted that they should impose a higher standard to impeach a President. Um, how many backed up or supported that call so far? How are the numbers looking? My is now, if we base it on the number of representatives who delivered or who questioned or who interpolated the, uh, the, the endorsers of the bill, we have Cagayan de Oro Representative Rufus Rodriguez, Deputy Speaker Georgi de Agabao, Majority Leader Boyan Gonzalez, Cavito Representative Elpidio Barzaga, Congressman Ray O'Malley, Congressman Nero Kimbo, and Dinagan uh, Island Representative Kaka Bagao, Henry Ominar, and we have a lot around. Ten or more, at least ten lawmakers who have already expressed their um, that they will not support these impeachment complaints against the president. As far as the discussions went earlier, uh, impeachment complaints number one and two will have a very slim chance of being voted, of um, being determined as sufficient in substance. Because as I as I have mentioned earlier, at least ten lawmakers have already underscored that they are not convinced that the president committed culpable violation of the Constitution. Now, as for impeachment complaint number three, my, we have yet to find out how the votes would go because right now, um, its endorser, Alliance of Concerned Teachers, part of this representative, Antonio Dino, is still discussing the, uh, the impeachment complaint number three. Bye. All right. Thanks, Kat. That was Katrina Domingo giving us the latest from the Batasan Pambansa.